Hey folks, back in the game here. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a cheeky video here. Um, I'm gonna open 100% true an $11 hobby box of 2023 Topps Heritage High Number Baseball. Uh, <laughs> the reason it's $11 is not because it was on some super great sale at, at a hobby shop or anything like that. Although I do expect this product to come down probably sub 50 real soon. Um, it's because uh, Fanatics also has a sports book. Uh, and in that sports book, you can earn, like on a bet, uh, you can earn a part of uh, a part of your bet back as what's called fan cash, right? <clears throat> and I don't bet a lot on that. However, for, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks there in December, they were doing a deal where um, you could just claim free, free fan cash. Some of it you had to make a small bet, some of it you didn't. Um, so anyway, I ended up with uh, quite a bit um, and some from uh, a previous bets earlier in the fall. And I had uh, I had like $77 or something. Um, and I don't know, about a week ago, two weeks ago maybe, um, I noticed my 77 went down to 67. Uh, and I'm like, oh crap, that's bad. Uh, so there must have been some sort of... Um, uh, expiration on the points, right? So I'm like, my plan was to to save them all up and use them to buy big purchases of baseball cards on fanatics.com. Uh, and uh, that sort of went in the trash a little bit when I found that out. So $10 of it went away. Um, so I had 60, I don't know, 60-ish left. A box of these is 65 on fanatics.com and then there's some shipping. Uh, at any rate, after, after my points, I spent $11 to get this shipped to my house. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, obviously, Heritage High Number is not a huge product um, this year. Uh, I, I enjoy it. It's fun. It's not, uh, there's not much value here. Um, I think I'll make the set now. Now that this is my second box, uh, I might as well make the set. It's not very big, so I'm guessing I'm pretty close uh, after this. Um, so uh, having said that, let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, so the first thing is the uh, oversized box topper of Kodai Senga, rookie card. Fantastic pitcher. All right, so we are guaranteed, well, let's, let's go over the, what we get in the box. We get 24 packs, nine cards per pack. So that's a lot of packs, right? And this is the 74 tops design. 74 happens to be the year I was born. So it's kind of an interesting design to me. I guess a lot of people don't like it. Um, it's growing on me just because, probably because I've done so well on this, uh, at least the base product um, this year. Uh, so we're looking for, you know, we'll, we'll save out all the good rookies, I guess. Uh, Grayson Rodriguez is a good one. Um, but really we're looking for um, any uh, short prints. Uh, not short, not the regular short prints, um, because the top, this is a 225 card set and the 25, the, the highest 25 of the, um, of the 225 are short prints. So that's not really kind of the short print I'm looking for. I'm looking for, um, you know, maybe an image variation or something like that. And, and if you haven't seen one of these videos or haven't seen this opened, I'll show you, um, how to check for image variations later in the video. Um, I haven't seen one in a while in general, they're flipped around, uh, but not always. Um, so we'll go ahead and I don't have that one. Nice. Um, we'll go ahead and just look through these. We'll go, you know, not super slow for sure. Uh, there is one mem or uh, <clears throat> autograph in here. Um, the last couple I've opened, uh, well, I've only opened one uh, Heritage High Number hobby box, um, but the last couple Heritage hobby boxes I've opened, there's a Volpe, um, have had uh, have had the mem instead of the autograph. So I would like to get the autograph. Maybe we could get a Volpe autograph. That'd be pretty cool. Um, uh, other than that, you know, there's some numbered stuff in here. Uh, anything numbered would be all right. Uh, it's not a hot box, uh, because we don't have the purplish parallels in here. Um, <clears throat> but we're just looking for things out of the ordinary. Most of this is going to be base, base rookies, right? So we're just not going to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, 
So uh, I know some people have been opening this uh, still and, and are kind of doing it as the price goes down. So um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it. Um, is this a set where you like the where you like the design? Um, you know, like I said, I've heard most people don't. Uh, I, I guess I'm not in that camp. But um, next year is going to be the 75 set, and I heard somebody saying the other day um, that it's maybe it was Jabs uh, that it's uh, one of people's favorite sets from the 70s as far as looks. So uh, when that comes out, that'll be pretty cool, and I will definitely be I will definitely be going for that set is my guess um got something flipped around here all right here we go it is boom a uh it's an image variation of jacob de grom okay so here's how you tell uh we don't have to go through uh, later on, you see where it says image right above the tops uh, sign, uh, logo? That means it's an image variation in uh, in Heritage. So um, probably not the best vet, vet for something like that, but um, in, image variations, uh, especially for collectors of, of those particular playoffs players, uh, are usually usually a pretty good... Thing. I've I've had three or four image variations out of here, and they've all been good players. Like I got a Rushman, um, so they sold for a you know a fair amount of money. Um, I don't imagine that one probably will, and I'm I'm not a Jacob Degrom collector, so uh, I'll see what I can get for it. So uh, I am pretty sure I'm going to do a video here pretty soon, maybe even today, about how the uh, they just released the images for the 23, 24, sorry, the 24 tops series one set. Uh, and I will, um, you know, maybe you've seen it by now. I don't know when I'm going to, what order I'm going to put things up in. I've, I seem to be perpetually behind. Um, so we'll, uh, you know, I, I, I'm really curious to put that video up and see what everybody's thoughts are, uh, on it. All right, looks like we're, I don't know, about halfway done. I haven't seen any numbered cards yet. And I am glad that I found that um, that image variation and it was flipped. So uh, I'm going to assume that everything else is flipped and we're not gonna check these number of these, uh, the backs of these on camera. Um, we're, we'll save you a little bit of time on that. Christopher Morrell. Yeah, I mean, these are all... The, the idea behind this is it's the throwback to um, to 1974 in a lot of ways in, in the design, but also, you know, in the cardstock. This is not your premium... I mean, it's certainly not a chromium-type stock of any... any uh, I like that now and then for J-Rod. Um, it's not certainly not a, a chromium stock, but it's also not even, it's not even like a premium, like base top set stock, right? It's not white on, on both sides. Um, so it's just, it's just a throwback is what it is. Um, and you know, in general, the price reflects that I, I'm buying regular heritage for sub $70 for a hobby box um, in the past couple of months. And this started out at 65. And, um, you know, given given the names and stuff in this set, which aren't great, um, and and really the collectability, not, you know, not a people are, not a ton of people are really seeking after individual cards in here. Um, it's a, you know, I, I expect, like I said, I expect those to go down and down and down. And that's... That's cool. Um, I will, uh, I don't know how much more of high number I will buy, even at low prices now that I bought this second box. Uh, but we'll see. There's uh, probably something out there that would make me do it. I, especially if I, if I go to the freaking, 
you know, Target or something, and, and or Meyer especially, where blasters are a ridiculous price most of the time. Um, you know, maybe I just get fed up one day and I'm like, I'm, instead of buying a blaster, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get a uh, uh, hobby box, right, for 40 bucks or something. Um, all right, so here's our first. I think these are numbered. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is to 974, 141 of 974 on Trey Turner. Feels like I have a Trey Turner numbered, uh, numbered card out of high or low number. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to take a look. Feels like I do though. First stack's getting a little precarious there. So we have, what, five packs left, and we haven't seen the mem or auto, unless it uh, looks like we just got the mem. Okay. Here we go. It is, oh, oh, good. Look at that. Corbin Carroll, Bat Relic. I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, I mean... Good chance this card in itself is worth more than eleven dollars. So uh, no complaints here. All right. packs left. And last pack of the $11 Heritage High Number Baseball Box. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Um, if you're new here, please click like, please click subscribe. Um, if you, uh, you know, if you have anything you want to talk about, please hit me in the comments below. Um, I will quick go through the hits here. Uh, all right. So the hits for a 23 tops heritage high number baseball hobby box, uh, is the Corbin Carroll bat relic, the Trey Turner to 974 Chrome, I think it's called. And then the Jacob deGrom image variation. And I think that's an image variation just because it's an alternate uniform, maybe. Uh, at any rate, thanks a lot, folks. Have a great night, and I will talk to you soon.